What's up, nerds? All right, so today we're going to be talking about the Class A's blues uniform. So let's get right into it. All right, so first, let's talk about the Class A's. So the pieces that are required to wear the Class A's are the jacket, of course, and long sleeve shirt underneath the jacket with tie or tie tab around the collar, pants for males and females, or skirt for the females, of course. You need a white to be neck t-shirt as normal underneath your blue shirt. You're going to need your belt and your hat. Fancy. You're going to need your shoes. Now, for the pants, you can wear this. Or these for the pants as well. Um, but you can also, but these are for the skirt. You can also wear flats for the skirt. These do not go with skirt, of course. Um, so those are those types of shoes. And then depending on the shoe that you wear, we have black socks underneath the Oxford style shoes. And you have hosiery for where you're wearing the pumps or the flats. Awesome. All right, so first let's talk about the jacket, which is the biggest part of the class season four. So first we have our jacket, of course, and this consists of the name tape, the badges, the ribbon rack, the rank or the cap pin, depending on if you're officer or NCO, and then the epaulets if you're an officer, of course. So first, what you're gonna need is the ribbon rack. Your ribbon rack is centered on this nifty pocket right here. All right. On the left side when you're wearing it. Your name tape is um, even with the bottom of the ribbon rack on the right side of the uniform when you're wearing it and parallel to the ground and then you have your badges and your badges are half an inch above the name tape then a half an inch apart as you can see. Half an inch above, half an inch apart. Okay so Specific to my badges, this is how they work. Now, if you have more than two badges, or if you have your solo badges, or your drone badge, the drone or solo badges will go above your ribbon rack, regardless of whether or not you have these or anything. The solo badges always go above the ribbon rack. No badges are going to go below the name, the name tape or the ribbon rack. Badges are always going to be above these two. Now, for the placement for each of these, the first two ribbon um, badges, besides the wings for the drones, gliders, or powered or rides, or solos, excuse me, besides those badges, all the first two will go above your name tape. And then the other two will go above here. You have to mix and match and determine from the regs which ones you have and figure out where they go. You can only have a max of four badges. So two here, two here, three here, one here, however your badges go. All right, now you have your cap pin or your rank. I have a little airman rank here, but you can, this is all the way up to chief as well, of course. Now, unlike the class B's, your rank is gonna be worn facing straight downward, with the point straight downward. Always, and then the top of like the chief or master sergeant or above are facing straight upward. Now it's gonna be resting on this line right here, but not over, resting right on, as you can see, and then centered between that line right here. That's how you wear the ranks, and the same for the cat pin. This is worn if you're an officer. So, for the epaulets for when you are an officer, these are little adhesive, adhesive strips, see? The little adhesive Velcro strips that you shape to your epaulette. And then you can glue on here, or you can sew. This one looks like it was just glued. I got this one from a closet, not my own. But you can look up Velcro strips, adhesive Velcro strips on Amazon or Walmart or anything like that. And then you have your actual epaulette, which is different from the Class B's, of course. It's fancy. Um, and you have the large sized pins, the same one that you wear in your hat. The hat can be the small or the big, most people wear the big one. 
and that's on the little blue strip here and then on your velcro strip now some of the class ace jackets that you find have the actual like button removable um, epaulette regardless of that these don't come where they can just slip on the epaulette like the class b's they have to be velcroed it comes with velcro on the back of it so it's it's interesting but that's the way it is so yep that is your class a's jacket as i said underneath the class a's jacket you're gonna wear your long sleeve this is just a long sleeve you can wear the short sleeve as well but i wear the long sleeve because the cuffs show the leaf and that's pretty obvious and then this is just what you wear on your neck which goes underneath your collar you don't want it on top of your collar it goes underneath so I can't really show that here. But that's just, it looks really nice. And then the, um, the tie, the same layer, behind, the, underneath the collar. And then down the middle. So those are the pieces, and that's the Class A's uniform. So, it's pretty simple to put together. As I just showed you, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just comment below. Like, comment. And subscribe if you want to. I may post sometimes, and when I do, it might be useful. So, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!